All right, what's up, everybody? This is Rob Dog with another episode of Buzzing on a Budget, where I try to find the best drinks at the best prices and give you my review and advice on the drinks. So today I got my co-host, little Rolo, today. Say what's up, Rolo. All right, so today we're going to be reviewing for you the Seagram's Escape Spiked Strawberry Daiquiri. Now, lately I've been going in the liquor stores and seeing more spikes in there than in a volleyball game. And they got Spike 211, Spike Smirnoff, and now I'm be trying the Seagram's Escape Spiked. Now, if you don't know what the Spiked is, uh, let me explain it this way. So, Seagram's Escapes, that's like their kind of line of drinks, kind of close to like a wine cooler, low alcohol content, pretty fruity flavors, really easy to drink, you know, very light. But now lately, I guess the trend is to make, you know, these drinks a little more beefier, you know, 8% alcohol by volume. So, you know, catch a nice little buzz. So, you know, it's a, a little less money for these drinks and more alcohol, you know, so perfect for buzzing on a budget. So got this for three nineteen and some change. So, you know, not too bad of a deal. 8% alcohol by volume, 24 ounce can. Now, I'm not even sure if this has real Seagram's gin in it, because I don't know if you can see, but over here on the side, uh, it says flavored beer, so I don't know. See what this tastes like, but one thing I've noticed about most of these uh, spiked drinks, what they all have in common is the liquid Jolly Rancher taste. Like, you know, it's just kind of oversweet, syrupy kind of taste that most of them have, so... Betting you a hundred pennies, this is going to be going the same way, so there you go, Rolo. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Alright. That's actually pretty damn good. What you think, Rolo? Alright, man, so let me explain. Yeah, so like I said, this is sweet. But not too overly sweet. I mean, it doesn't have that liquid Jolly Rancher taste to it, that syrupy taste. It's kind of more like a fruity, like juicy kind of taste. You could actually taste the alcohol in there. Uh, might actually almost be real Seagram's, you know. It just has a nice little kick, nice little balance, like kind of grown-up drink, almost like a cocktail. Not like a sugary, syrupy, kind of high uh, alcohol drink that's been kind of going around. So, yeah, I give this a thumbs up. Totally recommend this. What you think, Rolo? I guess Rolo don't like it, but I think it's cool. So Rolo gives it a thumbs down. I give it a thumbs up. Or should I give it two thumbs up, man? That, that's one thing I'm going to start doing now. So if I really, really recommend it, I'm going to give it two thumbs up instead of the normal ones up. So as always, man, uh, drink responsibly. Never drink and drive. Make sure you're legal drinking age, you know. Uh, warning, 8% alcohol by volume, so even though this is good, it is a little bit sugary, might give you a little bit of hangover, so you might want to just limit to one. So, uh, normally at this time, I'll be pounding this drink, but um, I promised my girlfriend I'd share this with her, so I'm uh, going to go ahead and end this video right here. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, and check us out for the next video. Thanks for all the views.